Hello everyone. So today we will start acids, bases, and salts. So first of all, we recall that what we know about them. So acids are sour in taste, but there is some problem in it. What that acids? Not all acids are sour in taste. We can call that generally acids are sour in taste. For example, coffee. Coffee is acidic. It's acidic. because it contains acids but it is what bitter in taste bitter in taste and all knows that coffee is bitter but it is acidic in nature so we say that not all acids are what sour in taste generally acids are sour in taste it is generally that they are sour in taste most of the cases they are sour in taste now let's move on to bases bases are bitter bitter in taste and it is true salts are salty in taste of course right so we have recalled what we know about acids bases and salts second thing we have to know about indicators what is indicators we are talking about acid base indicators now these acid base indicator or uh, indicators only indicators are the substance which will tell that whether a sub whether a substance is acid or base right like we are using uh, what a soap soap s o a p soap so we have to tell that whether it is acidic or basic right so we have to do some experiments and we have to tell whether it is acidic or basic so we will use indicator indicator is used to tell whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature right so we will come to know that this soap is basic in nature how we will come to know how will use the indicator indicator tell these things by the change in color in them right by the change in color in them so let's know about indicators in detail so basically indicator is a dye when put in acid or base will change its color so by this by the help of indicator you can tell that whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature okay so the three most common indicators are litmus phenolphthalein and methyl orange so let us see the color change they show when they are put in acid or base so the first one is litmus so we'll talk about litmus in detail now so litmus is available in two forms one is litmus paper and the second is litmus solution solution and it has two types that is blue litmus and red litmus right and now we'll talk about the color change when it is put in acid and base so in acid in acid the color of litmus is red and in base in base the color is blue so you have to remember these two points and in acid its color is red and in base its color is blue so litmus we can use it in the form of paper also or a solution also we have two types of it that is blue litmus and red litmus and the color change in acid is red the color change in base is blue and one thing more that the original color the neutral color of litmus is purple it is purple in color the neutral color of litmus is purple and for the sake of convenience litmus is made into blue litmus and red litmus right so to know that whether the solution or the substance is acidic or basic in nature for example if we take a basic solution naoh naoh and we have to test that this is basic or acidic now we know that it is basic solution but yes for the sake of example let us uh, know with the help of litmus that whether it is acidic or basic in nature so we have this naoh that is sodium hydroxide so first of all we'll take red litmus we will take red litmus we uh tried this red litmus into this solution put this uh paper of litmus in this solution like this 
and you will find this red litmus what this red litmus changes from red to blue the color of this red litmus changes to blue why because this solution in this container is basic in nature that is why the color is the color has changed right so this is how we have to test uh, the acidic nature the basic nature of a solution and the other two indicators are methyl orange methyl orange and phenolphthalein 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 and the color change in acid of methyl orange is red and in phenolphthalein the color change is colorless means the color is what there is no color it is colorless and in base in the case of methyl orange the base in base the color will be yellow and in the case of phenolphthalein in base the color will be pink so this is the case of other two indicators which i told you and the neutral color of methyl orange is orange as the name suggest and the neutral color of phenolphthalein is colorless it's colorless so the methyl orange and phenolphthalein are the other two indicators we talked about three indicators litmus phenolphthalein and methyl orange which are most commonly used so i have more indicators for you and these are natural indicators like turmeric in acid it is yellow in base it is reddish brown and in red cabbage in acid it is red and base it is green and hydrangea flower in acid it is blue and in base it is pink so till now we have talked about those indicators which show change in color now we talk about all factory indicators which will show change in smell so for example first is onion onion uh, for example if you keep onion with clothes for few hours in refrigerator so the cloth will have the cloth will be surrounded with the onion and so on it will get the smell of onion in it so we'll say when you uh, bring when you put that onion smelled cloth in an acid or a base so what will happen yes they will change show the change in smell so in acid the smell will not change it will remain same but in base the smell will vanish or we can say disappear second example is vanilla essence so same in acid the smell will not uh, change or we can say the smell will remain same and in base the smell will be disappeared it will vanish and the third example is clove oil clove oil in clove oil the smell will not change that it will remain same and again in this it will vanish so this is common in these three cases so you have just to remember these three examples onion vanilla essence and clove oil example of olfactory indicators and with this we have completed about uh, indicators and this was the introduction video of this chapter thank you very much for watching this video